juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh, so juicy to me. This is extra juicy, my royal family. You know I'm about to act a fool. <laughs> Ain't it real sweet, my royal family? Real juicy. Extra juicy. Look at that right there. Juicy. 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 Mm-mm-mm. Well, my royal family, let's go on this journey. <laughs> well, I first and foremost, my royal family, have to admit that I did not know the guilty verdict was going to come soon. And when I get my main channel back, I was already told my royal family by what I was looking at that Amber Geiger was going to get a guilty verdict. Um, those 17s was all over a video I was doing one day and I, it was just kind of overwhelming when I watched it. So we got to wait for that. But when it when that comes back up, because, you know, I'm still fighting battles. Um, I'm going to point that out. So, y'all see that this is a long video, but a necessary video. Victory. So, let's also not lose sight. And I forget the, um, one of my subscribers pointed something out. That this murderer, Amber Geiger, passed 16 doors. And Botham's door happened to be number 17. Victory. So. As we continue on. Amber Geiger's found guilty. Jury takes less than 24 hours to convict former Dallas cop of murdering Botham, Botham Jean. White ex-Dallas cop officer. Amber Geiger was found guilty of murder Tuesday, less than one day after a jury started deliberations. When the jury unanimously found the defendant Amber Geiger guilty of murder as charged in the indictment, Judge Tammy Kemp read in court Tuesday. Geiger, 31, was convicted of murdering PWC associate Botham Jean two days after what would have been the man's 28th birthday. Ain't that a shame? Mm -mm -mm, our royal son. So, the former cop had early argued she thought she was walking into his, into her own apartment when she instead walked into Jean's unit. I'm going to just leave it right there, my royal family, because I'm just repeating the same repetitive shit. We will need to get into the juicy parts. So I, let me take you out to the juicy parts. You know, this is all redundant. So let's get over here real quick, my royal family. Now, the volume may be a little bit low, but I like, you know, I like overemphasizing shit. And I like shit to be real juicy. So we, we just going to listen to this for a bit. And then there's some more things I got to get into. Then I got a bonus video. Oh, yeah. Real fucked up bonus video. Going to piss you off. Jury having reached a verdict, Ms. Geiger and your team, would you please stand? We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant, Amber Geiger, guilty of murder as charged in the indictment. No outburst. And it is signed by the presiding juror, who is juror number 11. Mr. Rogers, would you like to have the jury poll? Jury number Eleven, chaos, disorder, and judgment. That is what the number 
11 Mings. Josie. You see how y'all gets down? The, you can't. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you something I know. I know I repeat thyself a lot. But I was in the spirit world a few short years ago. And y'all revealed some things to me. And it was so profound to me that I can't dismiss it. I talk about it every day. Mr. Santana, bless his heart, he has to hear his wife talk about these things. But when you have a spiritual experience and y'all start showing you some things and have you to get some understanding and clarity of things, it speaks volumes. And I've been talking about that number 11, and I've been talking about that number 17. And I'm not dismissing the other numbers, but these are the numbers that can continue to show up in my life. And y'all have y'all numbers, too. We're all assigned numbers. I mean, it's incredible. Ain't it juicy to hear that from royal family? So let's, let's get a little more of this juiciness. You may be seated, Ms. Geiger. Uh, we're going to take a break. Um, you all will have a long lunch break today. And we will resume court at 1 p.m. Okay. All right. Sheriff's deputy is standing guard over uh, Toby Shooker, defense attorney, and, and Amber Geiger there. So what's going to happen next here is the judge is going to have an extended lunch break. Um, th this was the jury deliberated for what six, seven hours before they. Well, they, they deliberated about four hours yesterday, and it would have been about two hours today. So about, about six, six hours. hours. It, it's okay, my royal family. Y'all may not have seen that. We rarely see these things, my royal family. And they always try to make it more than what it is. It wasn't no damn ruckus. People were overjoyed. And what is so ridiculous about this, my royal family, is that we often hear not guilty. But don't lose sight of what I repeated over and over and over again. When Yah clearly spoke to me last summer, he said she would be the first. See, this case was worldwide. Amber was put on the world stage. And the thing that's so ironic is the white woman depends on her man to defend her. And he did not defend her at all. You don't never ever let the person who done the crime get up on the witness stand. That's deserts for the prosecutor. And I have to give the white boy prosecutor his props. And I'm glad it was a white boy. Because if it was a black man, they would have threw that racial component in there. 
So I thank you, Mr. Herbis. Thank you very, very much. You did a wonderful job. So as we continue on, my royal family. Okay, let me cut that off. And uh, we're going to get in and listen a little bit. We'll go over here to Facebook and listen go, to but this. This is a huge victory, not only for the family of both of Jean, but as, as his mother, Allison, told me a moment ago, this is a, a victory for black people in America. Uh, it's, it's a signal that the tent is going to change here. Police officers are going to begin to be held accountable for their actions, and we believe that that will begin to change teen culture all over the world. It's it's a sad reality that this community waited on pins and needles to decide whether or not someone could be held guilty for killing an unarmed black man in his home while eating ice cream. This should have been automatic. This should have been anticipated and expected, but it is extremely rare. We, from this day forward, we are making it, we're, we're leading the way we are pushing so that it is not rare, but that this is common, that just uh, continues to roll down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Yeah. We, we said it all along when Tobias Mackey was killed, no one thought it was a problem. James Harper was killed, nobody thought it was a problem. Clinton was killed. We still didn't believe when we said we had training issues within the Dallas Police Department. It us losing someone like both of them for Dallas, this entire state, and the whole world to finally hear what we've been saying all along. There are serious issues within the Dallas Police Department and training issues. We were here just a few months ago when Rar Oliver was convicted for the murder of Jordan Edwards. And now we're here today because Amber Geiger has now been convicted of murder for the death of both of them. And we just hope that somehow, some way, we can get some healing in this community and we can get the proper training so no other family can have to deal with what Bertrand and Miss Allison, Alicia, and Brant are now dealing with. Although we got a murder conviction, our lives will never be the same ever again. But we hope that now people who live in the South Side Flats, people who live in houses who, that look identical, this ruling will now say that you are safe to be in your homes and people can no longer just say, I made a mistake and took your life. I am attorney Ben Crump along with attorney Daryl Washington, attorney Lee Merritt. Brothers, I'm so very honored to be in the Fox. We are fighting for justice for this great family of both on and to make history today in America. To make today in America, absolutely. You know, Botham John was near perfect person of color. So this jury had to make history in America today because Botham was the best that we had to offer. 26 year old, college educated black man, certified public accountant, working for one of the three accounting firms in the world, Price Waterhouse Cooper. But it shouldn't take all of it for unarmed black and brown people in America to get justice. Like an American and attorney Washington said, this is a precedence now that will go forth across America for equal justice under the law for everybody, whether you black, white, red, brown, it doesn't matter. And this work is for Trayvon Martin, it's for Michael Brown, it's for Sandra Bland, it's for Tamir Rice, it's for Eric Gardner, yeah. it's for Antoine Rose, yeah. it's Robles. for Jamel Robles, for E.J. Bradford, for Stephon Clark, it's for Jeffrey Dennis, Jeffrey Dennis Genevieve, Dawes. Genevieve Dawes, for Pamela Turner, uh -huh. for so many unarmed black and brown okay. human beings mm -hmm. all across America. Yeah. This birth today is for them. Woo! Everybody can raise their hand. This verdict is for them. The verdict is for them. I, I just had the district attorney's office tap me on my show because the sentencing phase is coming up where the family will testify. They've asked that I withhold their statements. I, I, I do want to raise what this family has always stood on, and it's their faith in God right. and their belief in, in, in Christ Jesus. Amen. And it was Bolton's faith 
that we believe play a key factor in them. And because of that, I'm going to ask both of them's pastor, Pastor Barry, to come forward and give a statement. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I'd just like to say the half of the, uh, the faith community uh, here in Dallas, in the state of Texas, and also here in the U.S., um, and on behalf of the uh, Dallas area preachers and church leaders, this, this verdict is exactly what we're looking for. I want to say thank you to the, uh, the jurors for being willing uh, to make that, that tough decision. I want to say thank you to the prosecutors for the, for the excellent job that they did. And now we're just going to move forward and continue to uh, respond in the appropriate way uh, going forward. But we just want to say, and, and the other thing I want to say is that uh, this also lets us know that the God that we serve is still on the throne. That's right. Yeah. God yes. is still in control. Amen. 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 Uh, all right, my radio family. Um, it ends there. Um, I thought that was necessary to show. And um, let's go over here to Botham's family. Um, like they said, the now there is the sentencing phase. And I'm going to do a whole video on all of that. It is quite enlightening. I know some people have heard it. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today. Or I might do it latter. Most likely latter tonight. Y'all know how I get down. I'll do my videos kind of late. Um, because I'm... I have to go I have to go step away and process things. So victory to Botham's parents. Now I said that I had a bonus video. So we're gonna get into the bonus video. I'm not gonna read anything, but this bonus video that I'm gonna play for the royal family uh, should always remind us to don't lose sight. I've, you know, the deputies, so I suspect that maybe they will be leaving the courthouse under a uh, police escort. And, and, and Rebecca, I'm sorry to circle back with you. You were saying that there was sort of a flurry of activity and all of a sudden there were sheriff's deputies around. Okay, let's go over here. Let me take this down. Now look at this. Look at this coon shit. Under. Let me take this volume down. You see this bailiff over here, what she's doing with Amber Geiger? Now let's go back. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Okay, let's try again. Their uh, police escort. And, and, and Rebecca, I'm sorry to circle back with you. You were saying that there was sort of a flurry of activity and all of a sudden there were sheriff's deputies around. So obviously that alerted you all to, hey, something's going on. Did you see that coon ass shit, my royal family? What the fuck is she doing? What what the fuck is really going on with some of us? We got complete victory. But it's always one of them snakes that identify with the enemy. Now you think if that was switched around and Amber Geiger was the bailiff and this so-called sister had killed a white boy in the same fashion, do you think that she would be stroking her hair? Do you really think that? You really have to watch a motherfucker. I'm going to play that one more time. Let me take the volume down on this. Let me see. I don't need to hear them people talk. But I wanted y'all to not lose sight. Let's see if we can get this going.
That's all we need, my royal family. The shit look fucked up. And even the audio said I can't deal with it no more. So, I just wanted to show the royal family some fuckery. Um, Tyreek, you good at pointing things out like that. I do totally agree with you 100%. So, my royal family. Ain't it juicy? Ain't it sweet? Oh, so sweet and juicy. So there will be more to come. So my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful, divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I say, juicy, juicy. Juicy.